Hey, what's up, people? Um, I had to switch locations because my roommate was doing dishes and I was in the kitchen, so you guys could hear me. We are on deck. We are on deck number three, and this is a Kamigawa Saviors deck box. And uh, let's just get started. This is my Type One Blue White um, Artifact Stasis Control. Let's see, uh, Dissension, Magic the Gathering, uh, Life Counter again, counts to thirty. Just put that over there. Okay. So anyway, uh, force of will, five casting uh, counter spell. You may pay one life to remove a blue card in your hand from the game instead of paying force of will's mana cost. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used. Cannot be used to counter this loss of life. Counter target spell. Sorry. Uh, basically what this card does is somebody has a first turn kill deck, um, you can remove a blue card from your hand instead of paying 5 mana, uh, pay 1 life, and counter target spell. Um, this is pretty much essential in uh, type 1 counter, counter decks to stop people from beating you down within the first couple of turns. Uh, Orm's Chant. One white instant card. Uh, target player can't play any spells this turn. And if you pay the kicker, which means you can, it's optional to pay the kicker cost, um, car, uh, creatures that player controls cannot attack this turn. So basically what you do with this is uh, during a person's upkeep, or if they're going to play a spell, you can play this in response because it's an instant, and they can't play spells that turn. And the spell that they played right before it gets uh, put into the graveyard because it gets negated. And if you pay the kicker, if they have creatures, they can't attack. And this is actually part of a combo you're going to see uh, with another card. Seed of Sina, Sina, uh, Artifact Blue Land, Ancient Den, Artifact White Land, Monovolt. Uh, Monovolt, one casting artifact, Monovolt does not untap during your upkeep phase. If it remains tapped during your upkeep, Monovolt deals one damage to you. Pay for colorless mana, untap Monovolt, uses ability only during your upkeep. Tap at three colorless mana to your mana pool. Play these as additional interrupts. Basically, it's an artifact that can tap for colorless mana, and if you don't untap it during your next upkeep, you take damage. Or you can force to untap it with um, any cards that uh, tap to untap an artifact, or you can pay 4 mana during your next upkeep and untap it that way. Artifact land. Memory Jar. 5 casting artifact. Sacrifice Memory Jar. Each player sets aside his or her hand face down, draws 7 cards. At the end of each player's discard, uh, his or her hand and return his or her hand each original cards back this way I don't know I, just, I didn't read it right anyway what this card does is um you tap it you pop it and then whatever cards they have in their hand they set aside and then they draw seven cards now what you can do with this is once they tap out and you have a uh, you have enough mana to cast the spells you want or if you're hoping to draw a combo card or something you can pop this they can't play any spells. They have to draw seven cards, and then at the end of turn, they have to discard those cards, and they never get to use them. So it's a great way to get uh, hand control, <coughs> and it's a great way to uh, speed up your deck. And that's a two casting blue counter spell, the original counter spell, seventh edition. Lotus Petal, sacrifice Lotus Petal, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, play this ability as a mana source, sack it, add one mana of any color. Premon's Aura, three casting. Uh, enchant creature, pay one blue, untap enchanted creature, untap enchanted creature, pay one blue, enchanted creature gains flying until end of turn, pay one blue, enchanted creature can be the target spells or abilities this turn, or pay a colorless, enchanted creature gets uh, plus one, negative one, or negative one plus one. Uh, basically you enchant a creature and it becomes a morphling, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's also part of a combo I have in this deck. Mox Lotus, zero casting artifact, when Mox I'm sorry, not Mox Lotus. That's a fucking unglued card or unhinged card. Mox Diamond, Durr. Uh, comes into play. Choose a discard land as or sacrifice Mox Diamond. Tap, add one colorless mana of any color. Top. Ah, eh, God. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. I'm sorry, I keep fucking up. I'm sick, you guys. Um, basically, what you do with here is you can remove a land play this for free, and tap it for any mana, kind of like a Birds of Paradise. Memnarch, 7 casting artifact, uh, legendary creature. Uh, pay 2 blue, a colorless. Target permanent becomes a artifact in addition to its other types. 
and then its second ability, pay one blue, co three colorless mana, gain control of target artifact. Uh, what you can do with this is basically, oh by the way, this is foil, if anybody can see that. Um, you can change your opponent's permanents, become artifacts, and then gain control of them and use them against them. Seed of Synod again, a 4th uh, edition revised uh, Tundra, blue-white dual land. Gilded Lotus, 5 casting, artifact, tap, add 3 mana of any color to your mana pool. I use this combo with Prem's Aura to untap my creatures. Tundra, Orm's Chan, alright, Ice Crown Scepter, alright. These two are the combo. Uh, Ice Crown Scepter as a two casting artifact with imp imprint. When Ice Crown Scepter comes into play, you may remove an instant card with converted mana cost two or less from the game. Pay two colorless, tap. You may copy the imprinted instant card and play the copy without paying its mana cost. And I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, it's raining right now. But uh, basically what you can do with this is you can tap it, and uh, I already told you what imprint is, and you can play the spell, whatever spell it is, an instant. And uh, you can play it over and over again. So what you do with this is you imprint Orange Chant on Ice Crown Scepter, and every time it's their upkeep, you can tap it, use it. They can't play spells. They can't play spells. You can also pay the kicker. They can't attack, and it's it's locked down basically unless they figure out a way to destroy it. Force of will. Okay. A Fetal Alchemist. Um, one blue, one colorless uh, wizard creature. Tap on tap target artifact or creature. All I do with this guy is pretty much untap Gilded Lotus. Uh, him, Premon's Aura, and Gilded Lotus is an infinite combo. I don't have time because fucking YouTube has a 10 minute uh, time limit to tell you how it works. But basically, those three cards, I can get infinite mana, infinite mana of any color, and I can pretty much just do whatever I want with it. I'll explain it later when I actually show you how to play these decks. Telerian Academy. Uh, a land, legendary land, this is a restricted card by the way. Add one blue to your mana pool for every artifact you control. So you saw the artifact lands, I can tap this for as many blue mana as um, for those artifact lands. So I can, it's fast mana acceleration. Arcane Denial, two blue, I'm sorry, one blue, one colorless. Counter target spell, that spell's caster may draw up to two cards at the beginning of next turn's upkeep. Draw a card at the beginning of your next turn upkeep when you cast this spell. Uh, you can Basically, it's a counter spell and a draw, uh, a card draw. And what's great about this is you can counter your own spells and draw three cards if you want to for, for two mana. Frantic search, uh, instant three casting, draw two cards, then choose and discard two cards. Untap three lands. Voltaic key, one casting artifact. Uh, tap one to untap tar target artifact. Pretty simple. Uh, Dark Steel Citadel, indestructible artifact land. Tower of Fortunes, four casting, uh, tap for eight, draw four cards. You can untap and draw. Fabricate, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. It's it's an artifact search card. Enlightened Tutor, one, one white. Search your library for an artifact or enchantment card and reveal that card and then put it on top of your library and then shuffle your deck. It's another way of artifact search. Sorry, this deck pretty big. Uh, Grim Monolith. Grim Monolith does not untap during your untap phase. Add three mana to your mon colorless mana to your mana pool. Uh, untap Grim Monolith. It's basically like Mana Vault, but it doesn't hurt you. Uh, Mystical Tutor. Search your library for an instant interrupt mana source or sorcery card. The same thing as Enlightened Tutor, but it's for spells. Um, Factor Fiction. Reveal the top five cards of your library. An opponent separates two car those cards in two face piles. Into, and one goes into your hand in the graveyard. It's pretty simple. Counterspell. It's a Chinese Orm's Chant. Another foil of Memnarch. Counterspell. Soul Ring. One uh, casting. Add two colorless mana to your mana pool. It's very simple. Foil Tinker. At the, at the time you play Tinker, sacrifice an artifact, search your library for an artifact, and put it into play. It's very simple. Foiled Orm's Chant. Alchemist and a foiled alchemist. Okay, so I'm sorry I sped this up. I will be more elaborate on this deck. I just don't have time. But this is basically my entire deck, and uh, I raped a lot of people with this deck before, and I stopped playing it. A lot of the cards here are actually restricted. So, anyway, that's deck number three, and I will be back to show you guys deck number four. Sorry I was speeding this up too fast, but I'll see you guys later.